remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Dave Chappelle has announced his endorsement for presidential candidate. Drum roll, please. Andrew Yang. In doing so, Dave becomes the latest celebrity to throw his support behind Andrew Yang. Yang tweeted out a picture of himself and Dave Chappelle and thanked Dave for his endorsement. He said that Dave is one of the most important voices in our country today, and I'm thrilled he has thrown his support behind this campaign. The campaign also announced that Dave Chappelle will be doing some benefit concerts for the campaign. Uh, they're going to be in South Carolina later this month. Uh, the shows will be in Columbia on January 29th and North Charleston on January 30th. So let's take a quick peek at Andrew Yang's competition. You got Joe Biden, the front runner. You got Bernie Sanders. You got Elizabeth Warren. You got Pete Buttigieg. You got Tom Steyer and Amy Klobuchar. I like Yang. I think he's a great person. I think he's a very decent human being, which is rare in politics. The problem he's going to have is that Andrew Yang is pretty much where Bernie Sanders was a few years ago. His policies are so radical that many people are going to think he's crazy and they think that those policies won't possibly be able to be implemented. So um, I think he's going to have a problem. I think it's going to be very challenging. And I think that some people are going to think he's just too crazy to vote for him, right? Now, again, real cool dude. Cool dude. Good dude. But I just don't think that he's going to get that nomination. And one of the other things is that is his freedom uh, dividend, like, which is a universal form of uh, income. He is proposing to give every American over the age of 18 $1,000 a month. Now, that sounds like something, but how in the hell is he going to pull that off? And how long do you get the $1,000 a month? Is it just for the time he's in office? Is it for life? I need to know for a friend. Thousand dollars a month. Man, he have, yeah, he had a Republican. Now I was about to say he had Republicans switching over. No, they wouldn't switch over for nothing, boy. They, they're gonna stick with their Republicans because they're gonna figure out a way to offset that one thousand dollars and, and stuff their pockets. Because they always like the Republicans always try to act like it's the Democrats who are always looking for something free. The Republicans are always looking for something for free. They always pat in their pockets. They grab the money, and then they used to just grab, try to get all the bread. Now they want the crumbs too. So they be fighting for the, the bread and the crumbs. They're always getting handouts. But they try to make it seem like it's a Democratic thing. Very interesting. Here's the deal. I don't care who becomes the nominee. Well, actually, actually, I do care. First and foremost, for me to rock with any one of them, they're going to have to have a black agenda. They're going to have to vote for reparations. They're going to have to be down for reparations. I can't rock with them. But other than that, anybody but Trump. No more talk. What the haters talking about?